New tonight at 6, law enforcement officials on all levels, federal, county, and local, are going out of their way not to talk about two men. One owns a strip club, the other is a judge. Now, both men have been in the news recently, and they are friends. Our Steve Brown has the story for us tonight. A state Supreme Court judge and a federally indicted owner of a strip club. The men, described as friends, both had very bad days on the same day. On Sunday, February 28th, just before noon, Judge John Mahalski was hit by a train and survived. DePue police are investigating, but have said little outside of a statement issued yesterday. It read in part, an individual pedestrian, identified as John Mahalski, was involved in an incident with a train, and that state public officer's law prevents the release of more details. The judge is reportedly recovering from his injuries at Erie County Medical Center. Also yesterday, Erie County District Attorney John Flynn disclosed his office was asked by DePue police to review the train incident, concluding no criminal conduct occurred. But the DA did not explain why his office would need to review a man being struck by a train. Now, on the day that that incident happened, there was an arrest in South Florida. As reported by the Sun Sentinel, Peter Jirasi was picked up by federal agents. The paper noting Jirasi had been indicted back in Western New York along with this man, former Buffalo area DEA agent Joseph Bongiovanni. The federal indictment alleges Jirasi bribed Bongiovanni in part to keep authorities away from Jirasi's strip club and the human trafficking and drug dealing going on inside. You may remember 15 months ago, federal and local law enforcement descended on the strip club on what appeared to be the execution of a search warrant. And Judge Mahalski is connected at least somewhat to Jirasi's strip club. The judge did legal work helping the strip club maintain its state liquor license while Mahalski was working in his own law firm before being appointed to the bench. And then there's this. The Buffalo News reports that two weeks before Mahalski's encounter with the train, he was questioned by federal authorities about Jirasi. In Buffalo, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.